Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you all how to create a panel and I also thought a widget on that panel. In this video, I'm going to show you another way you can create a panel by using the class method. So let's get started. In order for us to do that now, we first have to say class, let's call our panel left panel. And its parent is wx.panel. Now, our constructor does underscore underscore in it self parent equal parent now we have just created our left panel but we first have to call it on our frame for it to show so in order to call it on the frame now, we must say self dot panel equal left panel self. So there we go. Now it's time to understand and see what happens. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is our frame. And inside here is our panel. Now let's say um, you got an assignment where you need to create two panels. Let me show you all, all you can do that. So in order to do that now, in this first panel, you'd have to give it a absolute position and the size. You can do this by saying so position equal Let's say five by five, and also the size yeah. equal what? What should the size be? Let's say two fifty by five hundred. Yeah, and that's okay. And let's give this panel a background corner. So self dot set background color. Let's set this as white. Now to our next panel now. We can easily just copy this and place it here and change this one to be the right panel. You can give it any name you want to, it's your choice. The right panel. And our position for this now would be. Let's see. 290 by 5 and our size now will be 260 yeah we can stick with the same background color now we need to call this panel under frame now so it's self dot panel equal right panel this time so as you can see guys We've created two panels, our left panel and our right panel. We also add a absolute position to both panels. This one is five from the left horizontally and five coming down horizontally. And this one is 290 horizontally and five coming down horizontally. 
and the size of the whole first panel is 250 by 500 and our next panel is 260 by 500 so let's run this and see what happens oh, made a mistake let's correct that Everything looks fine now. Let's run again and see what happens. Okay. Oh. In order, in order for both panels to be on our frame, our frame size needs to change. So let's call our new frame now to be 750 by 600. And let's run and see what happens now. Let's see what is wrong. Everything looks good now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, guys, it's best if you know how to troubleshoot the code as well to see if anything is wrong or if any error has popped up. So I fixed all my errors and there's our two panel. Our left panel and our right panel. And they're both it replaced a white background on both of them. Let's say you want to add a button to each panel. You can also do that. Let me show you all. Uh, now for our left panel now, we would like to add a button, wx dot button, which, which is the simplest way to create a button, self, and let's give it a label, equal a, And the position equal. Let's just give it fifty by fifty. And let's add a, another, let's add a size as well, just to finish it off. Let's see. Sixty by thirty. And let's copy this. Place it on our right panel and change a few parameters. Let's label this button B. Position remain this. No, our new position would be let's say 150 by 150. Size will remain the same. In order to accomplish this, guys, you have to make sure that your position is correct. So let's run this and see what happens now. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Here's our two buttons. Button A, button B. Button A is 50 from the left and 50 down. And button B is 150 and 150. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, let's say you got let's say you all get an assignment. And your lecturer asks you that when you click this button, you should get a message dialog saying that, are you sure you want to quit? That can also be done. Let me show you all. You will first need to say, you'd have to place that binding event. So you would say self dot bind double x dot event underscore close 
comma self dot on close window. Now that's done, that's our binding event. So let's create a function for that binding event. So def on close window self comma e for event. Now what to say now? Or message dialog. So it's dial equal double x dot message dialog bracket none and let's say when you click x you want it to tell you are you sure you are you sure you want to quit with a question mark and then you'll say comma question now we'll further say we'll further say now double x dot yes underscore no then double x double x dot no underscore default next double x dot icon underscore question and now we'll put the code return equal dial dot show model and if return equal to be yes so when the pop-up dialog come up and you guys say yes you want it to delete so it's be so this code be self dot destroy else if you say no event dot veto which basically it's going to continue processing so let's check our code our binding event on close window our function on close window the message dialog are you sure you want to quit question mark yes no with the icon question mark and if you say yes it is destroy no continue processing so let's find this and see what happens guys oh we have a code else okay let's run again there we go so now if i click this i should get a message there like pop up so let's go right there and click it oh we didn't get a pop up something is wrong Let's check the code and see. Message dialog object has no attribute show modal. Or it show modal capital M. Alright, let's try one more time. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Here's a question Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, no. If I click yes, it will terminate everything. No, it will continue the process. So I click yes. There you go. So I hope you all learned something. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and share. See you soon. Peace.